different surrounding islands. You can find penguins on Antarctica, you can find penguins on Australia, you can find penguins in South Africa, penguins in South America, you can find them as, even as far north as the Galapagos Islands, believe it or not. A lot of people do think that all penguins come from the Antarctic continent, but believe it or not, only two species of penguins come from the Antarctic continent. And, which is so exciting for you all, we have those two species of penguins living right here. We have the Adelis and the Emperors. The Emperors are the largest ones in here in the encounter, and the Adelis are the smallest ones. They're the ones that have the little white around their eyes. Those are Adelis. Now the Emperors and Adelis are the ones that actually come from the Antarctic continent. All other penguins come from either the sub-Antarctic islands or all over the southern hemisphere, as I talked about earlier. Now the ones that do come from the Antarctic continent, they do have a lot to deal with when it comes to um, when it comes to getting through harsh weather conditions. For instance, the weather can drop to the temperature can drop to about 127 below zero on the Antarctic continent, and it is the home to 90 percent of the Earth's ice. It's also considered to be the highest, the driest and the coldest desert in the world. Now the reason why it's considered to be the driest desert in the world is because annual snowfall is less than five inches typically. It's also considered to be the highest because <laughs> there are peaks that are about 16,000 feet above the big sea level on the Antarctic continent. And if that's not enough to be harsh for them, Winds can gust up to about 200 miles per hour, believe it or not. So winter can be quite harsh, and we did bring them here so that we can learn about what happens during their winters. So all of you that are here in the encounter, you just missed our Antarctic winter. Um, if you would have came here about two months ago, we would have had all the lights dim because it does, does stay dark during their winter time. They are, they're in their springtime right now, heading into their summer. We do follow the austral summers and the austral light cycle here at zero in order to make things a little bit easier for their breeding. Emperor penguins are very sensitive when it comes to reading, so if you were to happen to come here in the middle of the summer, you would notice it is dark. All right, so now that we've talked about where penguins come from, Let's talk about the penguin encounter. One of the number one questions that we get about the penguin encounter is how cold it is in here. Well, as you can see, we have aquaculturists on our minds with them all the time, taking care of them, feeding them, observing them, even working to make their environment nice. And so since we have aquaculturists in there, we have to keep the weather a little bit more friendly for them but cold enough to where the colder weather birds are comfortable. So we keep it about 26 degrees Fahrenheit at all times. The water temperature is about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is a little bit warmer. It's about freezing. If you look close enough, you'll notice that we do pump in fresh snow. Every day we have an agriculture out there pumping in fresh snow. Sometimes we pump in about 5,000 pounds of snow every day, so you'll notice. And you'll also notice to my left, or to my right, to most of your left, there are a bunch of rocks in there. That's because it's gentoo breeding season. So our aviculturists put in them. Hundreds of pounds of rocks so that they can start making their nests. So you'll notice that's what they're doing over there on your left, all the gentoo penguins. Now, the gentoo penguins are the ones that have the white patches above their eyes. Those are gentoo. Now that we've talked about the penguin encounter, we've also talked about where penguins come from. Let's talk about what they are, what kind of animal they are. Does anyone out there know what type of animal a penguin is? Does anyone know? Alright, what, what type of animal is a penguin? A bird! Exactly. 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 
like he's up to something. <laughs> he's like the Godfather. <laughs>
their natural habitat. Believe it or not, a lot of animals, not just penguins, are affected by toxins in the water. They're affected by oil being in the water from ill-maintained cars. They're also affected by trash and debris and plastics um, that don't disintegrate in the water. A lot of animals will confuse different debris in the water for eating it and swallow those things. And penguins are no different. They, they may also swallow, which is why when you are outside of here and you see those Magellanic penguins, we ask that you refrain from tossing in any coins because those penguins will try to eat those coins if you toss it in the bowl. So and it's no different out in the ocean. Penguins and other animals will try to eat any kind of debris that's not supposed to be in the ocean. Another thing that affects penguins and other animals is lack of habitat or habitat destruction, habitat loss. Because these animals rely on going onto land to breed, if their habitat for breeding is destroyed, or they don't have the materials that they need in order to make their nest, that makes breeding very difficult for a lot of these animals. So we do ask that you support organizations around the world that are helping to um, to prevent any kind of to prevent um, habitat destruction and and any type of organizations around the world that help with preservation of different types of habitats, not just for penguins but other animals as well. Uh, One thing that you can do in order to help animals is you can visit SeaWorld.org or you can um, or you can uh, put it to one of your favorite search engines. Seville Bush Gardens Conservation Fund. On that conservation fund, you can learn about some of the things that we're doing in order to help animals all around the world, including penguins. If you donate to the Bush Gardens Seville Conservation Fund, that money will go towards animals everywhere. Not just helping penguins, but also helping frogs and turtles and all different types of sea animals that need help and land animals as well. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for joining me here. I hope you had a great time, and I hope you learned something that you didn't already know. If you have any more questions, maybe something I didn't talk about, feel free to ask. Otherwise, enjoy your day here at SeaWorld San Diego. Thank you.